Good morning, greetings, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I've seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, if you have questions about the longevity products, comments, or success stories you'd like to share, we want to hear from you on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. I love talking to my smart listeners. If you have any uh, comments about our truth treatment products or about the longevity products, we want to hear about them. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. And if you want to purchase any longevity products, our Beyond Tangy Tangerine, Healthy Start Pack, Ultimate EFAs, Ultimate Selenium, any of the fine longevity products or packs, including the Healthy Start Pack. You can go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call 866-735-2470 for more information about the uh, longevity products or also about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can be in business for yourself, earn thank you checks, earn uh, tax, tax benefits for your home office or your mileage, at work for yourself, work out of your home, all for a one-time $25 fee. Even if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price, just for a one-time $25 fee, you can join the Brightside Ben team and be in business. Call 866-735-2470 for more information or go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and click on the Join the Team links right off the website. Okay, so we've been talking about my favorite, or one of the most important, say one of the most important fluids in the body, after the blood, probably the most important fluid, the bile, and if you've been listening to this program, you know that stuff is important. Most people don't even think about their bile system. If you're tr interested in doing a detox, you'd be way better off doing, working on your bile system than, than taking a detox formula detox beverage or whatever, detox tea. There's lots of ways to detox, but the best is to make sure your bile is working the way it should. The bile is your detox fluid, and it should be regarded as such. We always always talk about it as a digestive fluid. Everybody, or most people know that. It's important for digestion, but it's also important for detox, which is why you want to keep your gallbladder, because if you don't have a gallbladder, your bile system is not going to be working as well. Without an effective gallbladder, you're not going to be digesting your food as well, but you're also not going to be eliminating your drugs as effectively. You're not going to be uh, eliminating your toxic estrogen as effectively. You're not going to be absorbing your nutrients, and you're not going to be eliminating your poisons. That's a recipe for health disaster. Now, I'm not saying if you have a uh, acute emergency, that's, uh, you know, you may need to have your gallbladder taken out, but if you have so-called silent stones... That is, you just have, you're making stones, but they're not causing you any agony yet. That's time. That means you've got to take corrective measures. That doesn't mean that you want to have your gallbladder out. That means you want to take corrective measures. And first, one of the most important things is use your ultimate enzymes. I did a talk in Salt Lake City. Some of you guys were probably there. I did a talk in Salt Lake City this weekend. We talked all about the ultimate enzymes, the multiple benefits of the longevity ultimate enzymes. Everybody knows, obviously, they're called digestive enzymes. Obviously, they're going to be important for digestion, but we've said many times they're anti-inflammatory. We've said many times that they're pain relievers. We haven't said so many times, but they are blood thinners. 
If you're getting a cold, they can help uh, prevent a cold from coming on or shorten their duration of a cold. And on top of all those benefits, your ultimate, oh, one more, your ultimate enzymes are also gallbladder surgery in a bottle. That's what Dr. Wallach calls them, but they are. Uh, they are oral lytholytic agents. That simply means they're stone dissolvers. In fact, they're the main alternatives. They're, they're the main way to, to dissolve stones, actually, is using your ultimate enzymes. They don't, doctors don't prescribe the ultimate enzymes. They prescribe the ingredients in the ultimate enzymes. To all of those wonderful benefits, you can now add detoxification. Your ultimate enzymes contain bile, bile salts. Improve the detoxification, uh, detoxification uh, uh, properties or the detoxification function of the body, of the liver. Oh, I didn't even talk about the betaine in there. That's pretty amazing stuff, too. That'll help you build connective tissue. That's important for, <clears throat> excuse me, something called methylation. This is all in your ultimate enzymes. Are you kidding me? This is one supplement and not even an expensive one at that. <clears throat> you got to get, all of those to get all those benefits, by the way, from your ultimate enzymes. You have to take it on an empty stomach. If you take it with food, you'll help, it'll help you digest your food. But to get all these extra benefits, you want to take three or four ultimate enzymes in the middle of the day on an empty stomach. So uh, focus on bile if you want to detox. Best way to detox. And if you have an estrogen problem, that is if you have an autoimmune disease, focus on bile. If you have endometriosis, focus on bile. If you have uh, uh, any kind of reproductive cancer or, or you want to prevent a reproductive cancer, uterine cancer or ovarian cancer, focus on bile. These are, all, these are all health challenges that get blamed on estrogen, but it's not so much estrogen as messed up bile. That's why I've, what I've always said, focus on the fatty system of the body. But what I mean by that is the bile. The body can be compartmentalized into its watery components and its fatty components, and they both are integrated. But in terms of health, many health challenges are, folk, are, are based in the, this fatty compartment of the body, how the body process, processes fats. I should say the fatty chemistry of the body, how the body processes fats, and that's largely bile. It's also fiber. It's also the microbiome, which, by the way, the probiotics are another very underappreciated aspect of this fat metabolism chemistry in the body. We know about probiotics. Most people know about them for processing food. Some people know that they're important for the immune system, but they play a very, very important role in keeping your bile clean and keeping your bile healthy. So one of the m most important ways to work on your bile, that is to work on detoxification, that is to work on estrogen if you're dealing with a female health issue, is take your nightly essence. Your nightly essence and your ultimate enzymes are two majorly important detox, uh, detox supplements, even though they don't get called detox supplements, they very well are. Okay, so uh, last program we talked about uh, the four humors. The four, uh, uh, the four biles, or the, or the four, uh, four hormones, uh, I guess, I, I don't know what you call them, four secretions. The Greeks thought that the body's health depended on these four secretions that they called the four humors. Uh, they, uh, yellow bile, uh, yellow bile, red bile, um, black bile, and uh, what was the other bile? Green bile, I think it was. Green bile, yellow bile, black bile, and... Uh, and red bile, and all these different biles have uh, different, uh, uh, different uh, characteristics. I shouldn't, let me, let me rephrase that. I didn't say that right. Yellow bile, and black, uh, yellow bile and black bile are two of the four humors. The uh, phlegm and mucus, or phlegm, which is a form of mucus, is the, uh, is the uh, other humor, and then blood. So it's phlegm, i.e. mucus, blood, black bile, and yellow bile. Those are, the, uh, those are the four humors, and each one has certain characteristics. Black bile is a derivative of yellow bile. Yellow bile is kind of an electrical type of energy that's in the body, and when you get too electrical, it makes black bile, and black bile, melancholy, is associated with depression, but it also kind of has a tempering effect. It has a slowdown effect. It helps you relax a little bit, and that's kind of neat how the yellow bile goes in the black bile. Anyway, but I digress. So bile plays a major role in uh, this whole detoxification system, in the detoxification processes, detoxification chemistry. And we started this whole conversation off about bile when we started talking about glucuronidation. I know that's a mouthful, but it's very important to understand. Glucuronidation is a key element or the key part of this whole bile detox, doc, detoxification chemistry. I'll, we'll finish up. Uh, I'll explain when I come back from a break. Back 
back on the bright side. Pharmacist Ben here, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products or detoxification or health challenge or nutritional supplementation or something you may have heard or read about, we want to hear from you, 844-236-6010 is our number. And if you just have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central, and 24-7 on our archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com, also brightsideben.com. We've got search engines up there. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up. And also uh, longevity products at brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, news stories, blog posts, videos. We are dedicated to your health. That's why all that information is free, and that's why the longevity products are made readily available at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com. And if you want to be a health coach yourself, if you want to help people through their health challenges, if health, if nutritional supplementation has helped you in your health, and now you want to pay it forward and you want to start a business, I highly suggest you at least look into the longevity business model. Call 866-735-2470 for more information. That's 866-735-2470 for more information. Even if you don't know anything about health, all that matters is, is that you're willing, that you want to learn, that you want to understand. All that matters is that you want to understand. Once you have that, once you turn on the wanting, the desiring to understand, just allow it to happen. Nature will take its course. You just have to want it. Just, and that's true about everything. That's true about anything and everything. That's true about getting healthy. You just have to want it bad enough. And you want to be healthy bad enough, you can just allow it to happen. The body has a, has a homing mechanism that will home into targets if you want it bad enough. You got to want it bad enough. You got to be willing. It's true about everything in life. It's true about getting healthy. It's true about making money. It's true about having a great relationship. If you just want it bad enough and you place your attention on it long enough, and you do the action it takes to get it done, it'll, nature will take its course. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you. Hang on if you're uh, on hold, and we will get to you at the uh, in our next segment at the bottom of the hour. We've been talking about bile, and we started this whole conversation when we talked about glucuronidation. It's the body's main mechanism for dumping out bile. Bile, is a, bile is a, it does a big circle. It bile is secreted out of the gallbladder, goes into the intestine, goes through the intestine, goes into the blood and back into the liver, back into the gallbladder, and then does a big old circle. Back to the intestine, into the blood and the liver, back to the gallbladder, back to the intestine, and just does a circula uh, circulation. It's called the entero, which means intestine, hepatic, which means liver circulation, entero, hepatic, or intestinal liver circulation. Now, here's the thing. Some of that bile, as it's doing its little circle, some of that bile is getting dumped out in the large intestine. So the bile is doing this big circle, hits the intestine, digests the food, or, or breaks up the fats in the food, then goes into the, uh, into the lower part of the intestine, the, the so-called lumen, which is the opening or the, the center of the intestine, the empty space in the middle of the intestine, in the middle of the tube, goes into there, cleans everything out, goes into the blood and into the back into the liver, and it's picking up crap while it's doing that. Crap, I mean food toxins, food allergens, hormones, drugs. As it's doing this big circle, it's picking up all these toxins, and then some of it gets dumped out into the large bowel, into, and you have a bowel movement, and out it goes. So in this way, it's doing double duty. It's doing digestive duty, and it's doing detox duty. The bile is like a detergent that cleans out the intestine and prevents poisons from getting into the bloodstream. But before it, gets, does, before it does its circle, some of it's getting dumped out into the large intestine. You get a bowel movement, and out, out it goes. When you're constipated, that doesn't happen. Constipation is another major cause of toxicity. And if bile is a, an important un underappreciated, or taking care of your bile is an important underappreciated strategy for detox, so is being regular. Having regular bowel movements. If you're, if you're con chronically constipated, the toxins can't leave your body. So fiber in this way can be really helpful as a detox. And fiber by the, also has a magnetic way of attracting poisons itself. So it helps you with your bowel movements and it also magnetically attracts toxins. Fiber is amazingly important. Fiber helps you clean your bile in this way. 
So make sure you're doing fiber. One of the best ways to take care of your bile system is to make sure you're getting enough fiber. And the fiber feeds the probiotics, and the probiotics help the bile system. You can see how, as complicated as health can be in a negative way, in a positive way, there's so many benefits. There's, so, there's this web-like network of benefits where one thing helps another, and that thing helps some, uh, multiple other things. They're all connected in a way. So once you start practicing good habits, like doing fiber every day, grinding up flax seeds, eating chia seeds, doing vegetable juices every day, you get benefits for your heart. You get benefits for your brain. You get benefits for your eyes. You get benefits for your skin. You get benefits for your bone. And it's not really like a direct benefit from the fiber. It's not like the fiber builds bone. But because the fiber helps the probiotics and the probiotics help you process calcium and the calcium helps build your bones, in the long run, the fiber helps build your bones. Which is why... Instead of like saying, I'm going to take this for that, you just want to take everything you need that to, to be healthy. That's why I don't like this for that. Oh, I got this problem. I take that drug. I take that uh, supplement. Oh, this herb is good for that ailment. Oh, this herb is good for this, that body part. No, it doesn't work that way. You make your body healthy. That's how you take care of health, and that's how you take care of disease. You know, make the body healthy. If I, that's the one thing I want people to take home from my presentations in this radio show and air, all of my work, is you make the body healthy. You don't have to worry about the heart. You don't have to worry about the cancer. You don't have to worry about your skin. You make the body healthy. If you do everything, it is, everything there is to do to make the body healthy, you'll be healthy. Everything will fall into place. And then you don't have to have a specialist for the skin and a specialist for the heart and a specialist for the GI and a specialist for the urinary tract and a specialist for this and a specialist for that and a special protocol and a special drug and a special supplement. You make the body healthy. And the, the good news about that is, is no matter what your health challenge is, you're going to feel better. How do you like that? Guaranteed. If you make the body healthy, you're going to feel better. If you do everything you need to do and, and, and stop doing the things that don't make the body healthy, so it's a, from a negative sense and a positive sense, your entire body will, will be healthy. All the parts that are broken down will start to fall into place. And you'll feel better. Make the body healthy. How do you do it? Go back, for the, go back to your triangle of disease. Work on the digestive system, the blood sugar system, and the adrenal stress system. Go to your square of health. Nutriate, respirate, move, and rest. See how simple this stuff is? This stuff is? Doctors want you to think it's all complex. It's not complex. You can go complex if you're fascinated by it, and I am. So there's some interesting, juicy complexity there. But if you just want to be, get, get rid of your uh, psoriasis or have stronger bones or have more energy, it's very, very simple. So bile's detox. Bile is digestive. Taking care of your bile system is one of the most health, healthy, healthful things you can do. It's critical for the detoxification system. Think of Tinker Toys. Bile's like a Tinker Toy. It has an ability to magnetically attract other pieces to it, and then it pulls them out. There's another special piece that you can add to that Tinker Toy molecule that's really important, and that's the glucuronidate. That's where glucuronidation comes in. The glucuronidate Tinker Toy makes the bile more readily uh, eliminated. It makes, helps the body more readily eliminate bile. It makes the bile easy to eliminate. The glucuronidate makes the bile water-soluble, more water-soluble, so that it can get dumped out. All right, got more to say here, and we'll take your calls. When we come back from our break, you're listening to the... If you We are back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number, and we will get to your calls momentarily, so hang tight. If you want to purchase any of our Truth Skin Health products, please go to truthtreatments.com. Make sure you take a look at our new Retinol 1% gel. If you've tried to use Retinol 5%, our Truth Retinol 5% gel in the past and couldn't, now you can use Retinol 1% gel. Retinol is the go-to active anti-aging ingredient for the skin. Nothing more important, although uh, it does work with vitamin C. And, of course, in our retinol products, you'll also get a whole bunch of vitamin C. In fact, our retinol, Truth Retinol 1% Gel is just as much a vitamin C product as it is a retinol product. A whole bunch of uh, vitamin C in there. And same with our, uh, both our 5% and our 1% are loaded with vitamin C. Those are the two most important active ingredients for anti-aging the skin. By far and away, nothing even comes close to vitamin C in its retin or vitamin A in its retinol form and vitamin C. 
All right, so uh, we'll continue talking about this whole idea of glucuronidation, making poisons more water-soluble so they can enter into the bile and get dumped out of the bile. Glucuronidation is just tinker toys, like all chemistry is tinker toys. The body will stick tinker toy pieces onto toxins to make them more readily excretable. I thought that's a word to make them easier to excrete. And a glucuronidate tinker toy gets stuck onto a drug or into an old, deadly toxic uh, form of estrogen so that it can get dumped out of the body more effectively. If you're not glucuronidating, if you don't have the ability or you don't have enough tinker toys, we'll say, you can be in big trouble. And upregulating glucuronidation, upregulating, my favorite word in biochemistry, increasing the, um, the uh, speed or the efficacy or the efficiency that this process takes uh, that the body uh, for the uh, to help the body uh, uh, stick that tinker toy on is important for uh, elimination of toxins how do you upregulate glucuronidate well there's lots of ways and we're going to talk about a bunch of them tomorrow but i'll give you a couple clues here we've already talked about cruciferous vegetables cruciferous vegetables are one of the best ways to upregulate glucuronidation but there's lots more. We'll talk about those tomorrow as we continue discussing detox. And then we're going to get to one of my favorite ways to glucuronidate. We'll talk about that one probably in a couple of days. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let me just read a couple stories here, and then we'll get your calls. I know you guys have been holding on for a while. Uh, hang tight. We'll just let me read these two real quickly. This is from uh, the Journal of Clinical Investigation, How Bile Acids Could Fight Diabetes. How do you like that? It's been shown by, uh, this is from the Journal of Clinical Investigation, shown researchers from Italy and Netherlands have shown that bile acids, think ultimate enzymes, great source of bile acids. Bile acids are also called bile salts. Um, bile acids, or a little known bile receptor, is activated by bile acids that helps you overcome your insulin sensitivity. You can improve insulin sensitivity with your ultimate enzymes. That's from the Journal of Clinical es Investigation. Of course, they don't say that. They say they want to uh, form, uh, they want to, uh, this discovery will form the basis of a new class of drugs against type 2 diabetes. There's no mention of the ultimate enzymes in this article, I am sure. But you don't need drugs. Get on your ultimate enzymes, support your bile system. Speaking of multifunctionality, and I love multifunctionality, from the journal Lipids and Health and Disease, essential fatty acids, that's your ultimate EFAs, and their metabolites could function as, get this, endogenous HMG-CoA reductase. That's statin drugs. That's right. Your essential fatty acids, your ultimate EFAs, could function as a natural statin drug. When was the last time a doctor decided to write you a prescription for your ultimate EFAs instead of your statin drug, instead of your Lipitor? Oh, what's the toxicity associated with your ultimate EFAs? None. What's the toxicity associated with poisoning your liver so it stops making cholesterol with a statin drug? Uh, let me think here. Brain problems, memory loss, dementia, kidney problems. Uh, is there any more? Oh, yeah, muscle problems. Pretty much anything you can think of that could go wrong can go wrong when you're on a statin drug long enough. Oh, there's more. Essential fatty acids also function as ACE, in ACE enzyme inhibitors. ACE enzyme inhibitors are blood pressure drugs. So your EFAs are a natural blood pressure drug. Hmm. How do you like that? They lower your cholesterol. They make your cholesterol system work better in a non-toxic way. And they lower your blood pressure. Oh, there's more. Essential fatty acids also act as antiarrhythmics, antihypertensives anti-atherosclerotics, anti-inflammatories. They're cytoprotective. That means they protect cells. And they're cardioprotective. They protect the heart. This is from the journal Lipids in Health and Disease. Sounds like, sounds like some kind of uh, panacea, some, some non-scientific gobbledygook. It's not. It's science. When you start working on the body, when you start in a nutritional fashion, using things like your ultimate essential fatty acids, using bile acids, supporting the bile system, etc., your entire body gets better. It's no surprise that you'll get these, this kind of multifunctionality from a supplement as important as your ultimate EFAs. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let us go to Karen in Texas. Good morning, Karen. Welcome to the Bright Side. Thank you. Can you hear me? I hear you loud and clear. What's going on? Okay. I have a client who has massive hives, internal and external. She's been doing 
trying to do a detox for a week with colon hydrotherapy and no detox to, do a non-tox do to, not a detox a non-tox. The detox the, yeah the detox could make things worse you could be allergic to anything in the toxins hives are an allergy or, or, or an immune right. response well, that's how do you know yes yeah, she had some kind of immune response but what's what's the deal with uh, internal hives what do you mean by internal in her mouth in her esophagus, it, uh, her stomach, it, get, it goes inside as well as out. That's terrible. What did she do? Uh, she's on, she went back to prednisone, which she does no, want no. to do. No, no. Well, hang on, hang on. What did she do to okay. cause the, what, what caused the problem? Do you know? Uh, she has been to all kinds of doctors. They say they can't figure it out. All right. You don't need to know what caused it. It's interesting that they gave her prednisone. Uh, predn- what kind of drug is prednisone? Do you know? There was- it's a steroid, but what does it what does it do? What's its func- mechanism of action? How does it work? I don't it's know. An, it's anti-inflammatory, right? Okay. It shuts down the immune system, right? So right. the the best way to shut down the immune system is to is to stop putting the stuff in the body that caused the problem. No, okay, that's the first thing. But she's got the problem now. What do you do? Uh, if it's that significant, the prednisone could be keeping her in the game, and I don't know. It may be that she needs the prednisone if it's that significant. Personally, I would be using Benadryl. That's just my opinion. I don't know her condition. I don't know her case. It may be severe enough that she needs the prednisone, but she should be getting off of it as soon as possible. And then once she's off of it, she should be uh, making sure she stays away from whatever caused it. I'd be doing the whole food thing. She, can't, she has to have other problems, and you want to start to c- uh, collect a bunch of data to figure out what her problems are and put together a picture of what's she's, happening. She's diagnosed as diabetic. Okay, well, that's the step one. That's step one. Nobody gets this kind of problem without severe biochemical imbalances. But step one is diabetes. Remember the triangle of disease. You can always rest assured there's a blood sugar problem underneath. Uh, there's probably something significant in the digestive system also. So start collecting a bunch of data. In the meantime, if she needs the prednisone, she needs it. I can't say that she doesn't need it at this point. Uh, I would be going Benadryl. And then while she's on the prednisone, which she should be weaning off as soon as possible, it's extra important that she gets on a supplement program. Extra. Now, if the doctor's telling her not to, that's, uh, that's just a dumb medical thing to say. But, you know, you're up against that. Personally, I'd be loading up on a lot of key nutrients, including including and especially high doses of vitamin C. But hang on, Karen. Uh, I'll give you some more specific ideas and, and some nutritional supplements she can use while she's on the prednisone, if she is, and even as she weans herself off. So don't go away. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Karen. Where's Karen? Karen in Texas. Hey, Karen, you there? I'm there. Okay, so your friend had hives inside and outside, a uh, serious immune problem. She may need the prednisone and may be keeping her in the game, but uh, her goal is to be to wean herself off. As with any cro- uh, drug you're on, your goal should be to figure out how to wean yourself off, but especially steroid drugs, uh, which suppress the immune system. That's the doctor strategy is to, for dealing with immune problems is to shut down the immune system. Now, in fairness, she may need that at this point. I don't know how, how dire her situation is. The immune system, when it goes, goes crazy, it, well, she may need it. So if that's the case. Benadryl doesn't even touch it. Say again? She said Benadryl doesn't even touch it. She said it's Yeah, stroke. well, then she may need the steroids. Uh, but yeah. she should be, her goal should be to wean herself off. So as soon as she can, start weaning herself off while she's on the steroids and while she's weaning herself off, high doses of vitamin C, make sure she's using zinc every day, all the, all the uh, uh, pre, pre, predisposing biochemical circumstances, that is the stuff that was going on in her body that predisposed her to this situation, need to be addressed. Blood sugar and digestion at the same time. So yes, stay on the prednisone, but her blood sugar system needs to be stabilized, sweeties, uh, magnesium, which will also help her detox. Get a book called Tired, or have her, get a book called Tired or Toxic. In fact, anybody who's dealing with any kind of toxicity issues like uh, uh, chemical poisoning or or, uh, highs, like a dramatic case of hives, a dramatic immune or allergic response to something, this book is amazing. It talks all about the detoxification system and and the uh, nutrients that are involved in supporting the detoxification system. Magnesium really plays a major role. Copper also plays a major role. Zinc also plays a major role. Uh, Vitamin C, as I mentioned. Something called alpha lipoic acid can be helpful. 
Uh, if she has any digestive issues, she needs to work on those, supporting the bile system, all the things we've been talking about here with the bile system and the probiotics and the fiber. All those things are going to be very, very important for her. She's, she should treat this uh, emergency as a life-changing event. That would be the that would be how to use when you, when stuff like this happens. That's a major wake up call. And fortunately for her, it's one that's reversible. Uh, sometimes the uh, or one that's quickly reversible. Some uh, major wake up calls take a little bit more work. These are something like this is quickly reversible. So uh, build the detox system. Make sure she's doing all the things uh, that are important for overall health. And then uh, for in the immediate r short run, I'd be using vitamin C and also something called quercetin. It might be helpful. Q-U-E-R-C-E-T-I-N. You can get that at a health food store. All right, Karen, I hope I helped you. Anything else? That was great. Thank you. All right, take care. Let's move on to South Dakota and say good morning to Naomi. What's up, Naomi? Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning. I am just wondering if you can give me any advice. I am 39 years old. I am 10 weeks pregnant. Oh. I have had um, three um, my, miscarriages. My children, um, no, I've I've only had one miscarriage, but I've had two preterm deliveries. Okay. At um, Your, see, that baby wants six. out. The baby wants out, and the miscarriage. Yeah. <laughs> so there's something going on. No, seriously, when you have preemies like that, the baby wants out, and that's a sign. Well, there's my, some. Go ahead. And, and my doctor, my doctor wants me to do progesterone. I'm doing a natural progesterone. Your doctor's doing. Your right doctor's now. doing what doctors do. Okay, and that is they medic <laughs> they medicalize you. And and fairness to him, progesterone is a non toxic, non toxic supplement and or non toxic uh, strategy. And so, in fairness mm -hmm. to him, that's something that's something you may want to think about. However, what I'd be saying is, what the heck's going on in your body? You must have other mm -hmm. stuff going on. This is a, this, you know, this doesn't happen in a vacuum. So there are, has to be other predisposing health conditions. Do you have any problems with your menstrual? What I'm guessing is problems with your menstrual cycle, uh, or problems with your estrogen, and you'll know that by problems with your mes menstrual cycle, or uh, maybe fat prom uh, fat pro uh, processing or fatty, well, the whole fatty system, the bile system, uh, digestive issues, anything like that going on. Um, I, I do have endometriosis. Well, hello. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'd be focusing on. Your estrogen is not getting handled correctly. And the estrogen is a major stress substance. And when it goes up, your body is in duress. And that can cause mm -hmm. the baby to want out. And that can cause your body to get, not get pregnant and miscarriages, etc. That's where you want to mm -hmm. focus. So he's on the right track with the progesterone because that will balance out the estrogen. But I'm thinking more along the lines of let's dump that estrogen out more effectively. <laughs> work on the bile system. Have you been listening for the last week or two? I have been, been yeah. Is, is anything sounding familiar to you, all the stuff I'm talking about? Mm-hmm, yes. Well, that's where you want to be working on. I mean, I could repeat everything I said, but basically it's work on your bile, your fat metabolizing system, cruciferous vegetables, green tea, essential fatty acids, ultimate enzymes, help your body process food. All, all the, you know, it's basically the same, the same stuff that I've been talking about, really. I mean, you can also probably throw in some hormone balancing nutrients like zinc in particular. Vitamin E and vitamin A can also help. Your cortisol is probably spiking big time, too. Are you having problems sleeping yeah. at all? Um, you, well, I'm, I'm exhausted, but yes, sleep is okay. a challenge. Yes, that's all signs of jacked up cortisol and stress hormone. Your body is in major duress, my dear. So what you have to do is you've got to figure out a way to calm it down. Now, I've given you a whole bunch of nutritional strategies, but you may want to also do things like slow, deep breathing, SDR breathing, slow, deep rhythmic breathing, um, hot baths, massage, Reiki, mental and emotional relaxation strategies. You know what I'm uh -huh. saying? N not just, it's mm -hmm. not all just nutritional. They're all important, but, but the mental and emotional aspect and the spiritual aspects are all important for relaxing the body. You have to tell the body to stand down. It's protecting you now. And, mm -hmm. and you got to figure out why it's protecting you and you got to calm it down. And that, that's basically what you're looking at here. Your body is in duress. Starts with the digestive system. You're at risk for diabetes, probably, if you don't already have it. It could get worse after I, you have your baby. Yeah? Okay. No, no, I haven't. I have okay. never had gestational or I'm not never had it. diabetic. No. You, okay, well, you're at risk for it, and I'm not convinced that you don't have it, but you're certainly at risk for it. So you've got to start working on your blood sugar also. Go back to the triangle of disease, my dear. That's the digestive okay. system, the blood sugar system, your cortisol uh, uh, thyroid or adrenal thyroid complex. Calm the body down. W keep your blood sugar as stable as possible. Avoid spikes and make sure you're correcting any digestive issues. Ultimate enzymes, essential fatty acids will be helpful. Sweeties will be helpful. 
uh, extra zinc, extra vitamin C, extra vitamin E and vitamin A. These are all and, and these are all nutritional strategies, but it's a whole picture. Nutritional strategies, the mental and emotional strategies, and also even the spiritual. All right, I gotta motivate now. I hope I helped you. Good okay, luck with everything. Thank you very much. Okay, thank take you. care. Mary in Oregon. Good morning. Welcome to the bright side. Hi, I had a couple of testimonies, but I'm sure we're running out of time. So. Give me one. Give me one testimony. Um, well, multifunctionality. Your um, balm product. My truth I, balm is multifunctional. Uh, I used to have a uh, hay fever, and it, it's almost non-existent. But during the time I I had, you know, that during the time that I used to have it, when I get up. Or at night, in the more at night, when I stick, I stick it way in the corner of my eyes and rub it around. I'll even even just put the balm right there in in the daytime, and it helps keep uh, my eyes from tearing up. Oh, that's very interesting. I never heard that. Now you're talking about your truth balm or the omega six healing cream. I'm talking about the balm. You can't stick the healing cream near your eyes. <laughs> No, you could do that now. There was a batch that, for some reason, you couldn't do that with. But no, th- you can do that now. Oh, okay. Well, I'll try it now. You should try it now. Yeah, I try. I had. I changed. I had to tweak how I was doing something when I was making it. But uh, yeah, that's good. That's very interesting. I had. Not, I had not heard that. So uh, what's going on? How can I help you here? I got only got about a minute or so. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, so I don't want to go sickly keto. Because carbs instantly fool me into thinking I'm hungry. Yeah, I know. I got the same problem. Right. But when you're listening. What I'm. But when I'm listening to the proponents of sickly keto, I want to have your take on sickly keto. Sickly keto, as opposed to keto all the time. Here's a couple things on. Okay, keto is the way to go. Keto is the way to go always. It's the production of ketones is important for just overall health. However, you can sensitize the body to ketones by by uh, going cyclical. So when you're when you do the cycl- anytime you you're doing a health strategy by stopping, the body becomes resensitized w- when you start again. So cyclical has its benefits. Personally, I don't. I'm not going to. I try to stick to keto as much as possible. But there are benefits to cyclical cyclical anything, including cyclical keto. But when you go off your keto, it's not an excuse to like go crazy and and eat whatever you want. You still got to be careful with how you eat. But uh, anytime you break you, you break a cycle when you start again, you the body is kind of resensitized a little bit. That's where intermittent fasting becomes beneficial as well. Does that help? Yes. Okay, I got to go, Mary. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. Hope we helped you. And uh, thanks for listening to The Bright Side, friends. Please check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products. And don't forget to take a look at our Truth Treatments website, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. We will talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.